Hey everybody, Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. I'm back for part three of my good Friday morning beach walk at Del Norwegans Pass State Park in North Naples, Florida. I'm up at the north end of the park now, up by Wiggins Pass. I'm gonna walk down to the south end, down to area one here in part three. This will probably be my last live feed unless something happens out of my control. We saw a fisherman attempting to reel in a about a four foot black tip shark in part two of this morning's live feed. That was just around the corner. Close, but he didn't get it. Good morning. Wasn't able to get it on shore. And then right after that, we got a glimpse of a dolphin. It disappeared quickly on me though. I don't know where it went. Very quiet out here this morning. Earlier, we did see some sun peeking through the clouds. But since then, the clouds have gotten pretty thick. Look back up to the north. Right now the temperature is about 73, 74 degrees. My weather app says it's only gonna get up to about 80. Four here at North Naples, but the weatherman said highs in the upper 80s and into the low 90s today throughout southwest Florida. So we'll see what happens. The water temperature is 76 degrees. And the tide has been coming in for about an hour and a half now. High tide is just a little before one o'clock here at the north end of the park, up here at Wiggins Pass. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing today? Well, we sent two home. How oh, did you? Yeah. Well, how's it, when are you guys heading back? The 18th. Um. Yes, yes, yes. He was amazing. <laughs> he was awesome. Yep. Well, look who's coming around the bend. She's coming around the mountain. <laughs> Did you see a lot of dolphins this morning? Oh, darn. Really? Which way were they going? They were going that way. Oh, boogers. So, yeah. I just saw one for a second. Watch the, he was bringing a shark in up here. One of these, one of these fishermen right here. He caught a four foot shark. Wow. There and were at least five or six of them. They were just. Oh, wow. They so were it's that little out family. At the same time. So Sweet. Oh, man. Yeah, and you can tell lots of kids were here yesterday. Oh, yeah. Lots of beach toys to for your store. For your right store. Now. There you go. See you later, Nana. Oh, Nana said she saw a lot of dolphins. 
making their way down the beach. Maybe we'll catch them. You never know. It's all about being in the right place at the right time, darn it. Good morning. Any more action? Yeah, that's what I'm hoping. Oh. Today is your lucky day, man. <laughs> well, I still have all my pieces. There you go. That's always a plus. Uh, he was trying to grab a hold of the shark and he just couldn't get a good grip on it. Good morning. How are you? Good. Hey, have a great day. You too. Yeah, go back and check out part two of this morning's live feed and you can scroll, kind of scroll through it. And when you see me getting up into this area here, up here by the dead trees, up in area five, that's where I stumbled across the fisherman trying to bring in the shark. I thought I was going to maybe see Robert out here this morning on the beach. Said he was thinking about coming out. Kevin, Robert. This is one of those mornings that if you didn't have anything to do, it's kind of a sleep-in morning being overcast like this. I got up and checked the weather. I was like, hmm. At least it's not raining. I've been out in the rain with my trusty umbrella. Well, thanks for the stars. I appreciate that. I think I just saw a snook. It's hard to see. See that dark spot in the water? Come on in closer. It's right out in there. Yeah, he's staying away from me. It's hard for him to see me. I'm not making any shadows. That little dark line right there, that's a snook. Whoop. 
Beautiful ibis just flew through there. No, he won't come in. He won't come in. I saw a lot of them earlier this morning. I think I see another one. Nope. Darted out. We do get to see some cool things in the morning, that's for sure. Never know what we're gonna see. Still very quiet here in the park, not seeing many people here. The sun worshipers. No sun for them. Maybe we'll get lucky and those dolphins will turn around and head back up the beach. They do that at times. They're unpredictable. Hey, Sherry, good morning. Mr. Cooper, good morning. Happy Good Friday.
Hey, don't forget the top three star senders for this month, for the month of April, are going to get a little present from Donnie and I. This month's top three star senders. Morning. Good morning. Well, that water is still. No signs of the sun here. It is completely blocked. Can't figure out where it is. It's up, uh, somewhere up around this tree somewhere. <laughs> Behind all those clouds. Not many folks here. Because oh. Bob would take them. Down by the water here. See if we see anything swimming by. Thought we were going to get a little break in the clouds here, but. Doesn't look like that's gonna happen. You are quite welcome. Thank you for hanging out with me. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be out here, that's for sure.
Sheen. Good morning. Happy Good Friday. We might see some rain later today. It might make it to the coast. We had some inland rain yesterday. We might see some showers along the coast today. We definitely need it. Very few people here this morning. As I said before, the beach is pretty empty. After this weekend, things are definitely going to be slowing down here in Naples. As our winter residents, our snowbirds, head home, There's a snook. Can you see it? Right, right there. Well, there's a couple of them. Just right out there, see if they come in. Nope. Swimming away from me. Boogers, little boogers. Snooky, <laughs> snooky, good one, good one, Mike. Yeah, nobody's sitting in the sky box. I just walked past that. Three snook just darted past me here. Hard to see with the sun not being out. 
just look like dark shadows down there swimming around. There's a couple right in there. Earlier this morning, I think it was in part one, we saw an osprey in this pine tree up at the top of this pine tree to the left here. That's the north end of area two. There's a paddle border out there. Water is nice for paddle boarding, I can tell you that. No dolphins in tow. Sometimes those dolphins will hang out with the paddle boarders, and that's cool. Swimming under their boards. Well, I guess those dolphins moved on down the beach, just kept on going. Maybe we'll see some tomorrow morning. White ibis here. Yep. Where are you going, bud?
over on the right is the boardwalk at the north end of Area 2. There's a few more people down here in Area 1. Hey, Nita, good morning. I think I saw something come up out there. I don't know if it was a wave. A buoy? <laughs> Something's playing tricks on my eyes out there. A swimmer? A buoy? swimmer. Couldn't tell what it was. <laughs> it's going so slow. Look at that. Huh. Just saw a dark spot out there in the water. Well, we are down in area one.
again if you're just tuning in we had a little excitement in part two of this morning's live feed you want to scroll through it get up to oh, probably about two-thirds of the way into it when i was up at the north end of the park the fisherman was attempting to reel in a about a four foot black tip shark but it got away from him that kind of was our excitement for the day for the morning got a just a quick glimpse of a dolphin sticking its fin out of the water right after we saw the shark just been very quiet here this morning Oh, thank you for the stars. I appreciate that. We'll be winding things down here, wrapping things up here pretty soon. There were some dolphins out here. Nana said she saw maybe five or six of them out here earlier this morning, unfortunately. They were at the other end of the beach. They weren't where I was. That happens. Like I say, if you hang out here at this park, you're going to see dolphins. If you spend a day here, they're back and forth throughout the day. Just don't know when. Thank you very much for the stars. Remember, this month, April, the top three star senders are going to get a little present, a little gift from Donnie and I. Top, top three star senders in April, just like last month. If you're liking what you're seeing, can please consider becoming a regular monthly supporter of Southwest Florida Television. I do depend on your generosity to make ends meet each month. Whether you are a monthly supporter, whether maybe you send stars, maybe you send tips now and then, I appreciate it. Some of you do it all. Some of you are just unbelievable. I wouldn't be out here if it wasn't for you. Thank you. And above all, thanks for being a friend. Thanks for being a, a beach lover. Pretty dark out there. Sitting on their paddle boards. Hey, good morning, Mary. Happy Good Friday. patch of blue there 
peeking through the clouds? Not much. That's about all I see for blue sky right now. Starting to see the shutters going up on the condos as people head back north. the end of the park just coming stepping on to Vanderbilt Beach the north end of Vanderbilt Beach Well, I think I'm going to call it a morning, my friends. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thanks for being a supporter. Thanks for being a friend. Remember to tell your friends about our beach walks in the morning. Invite them to tag along with us. The more, the merrier. Any videos or photos that you see on Southwest Florida Television's page that you happen to like, give them a share. Give them a share as well as a like. I appreciate that. Check out some of our dolphin encounters. We've had some great dolphin encounters over the years. Those are probably the highlight of a beach walk. My chats with Roy in the old days and our dolphin encounters. That was awesome. Awesome, awesome. And we will have more dolphin encounters in the future, believe me. my friends again have an awesome good Friday remember what good Friday is all about thank you Jesus until next time stay safe stay healthy and stay strong Tally ho, my friends, tally ho. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.